Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, Summer 2018, Question 12. We want to show that 1 minus cos 2 theta is identical to tan theta sine 2 theta. So I'm going to start with the right hand side, which equals tan theta sine 2 theta. Now we know that tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta, and by our double angle formulas, sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cos theta. Now multiplying these together, the coses will cancel out and we'll get 2 sine squared theta. But from our double angle formula for cos, we know that cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. So rearranging this gives us that 2 sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta as required. Part B says hence solve for x between minus pi over 2 and positive pi over 2 the equation sec squared x minus 5 all multiplied by 1 minus cos 2x equals 3 tan squared x sine 2x. So first thing to do is notice that on the left hand side we have a 1 minus cos 2x. So we've just used this in part a and shown that that is equal to tan x sine 2x. So we'll replace that. We can now see that both sides are multiples of tan x and sine 2x. So if either of them are equal to 0, our equation will work. Setting them to 0 will both give us an answer of x equals 0. So there's our first answer. Now we've taken that into account, we can cancel them out and do some simplifying. So firstly, we're going to cancel the tan x on the left with one of the tans on the right, and both sine 2x's will cancel each other out leaving us with sec squared x minus 5 equals 3 tan x. Now if we remember our identities, sec squared is equal to 1 plus tan squared. So we can replace that and we get 1 plus tan squared x minus 5 equals 3 tan x. Rearranging to get everything on the same side in a quadratic, we get tan squared x minus 3 tan x minus 4 equals 0 which factorises to give us tan x minus 4 times tan x plus 1 equals 0. So tan x must equal minus 1 or positive 4. Using the inverse tan function on our calculator, that gives us answers of x equals minus pi over 4 or x equals 1.326. As our bounds for x are just between minus pi over 2 and positive pi over 2, there won't be any repeated answers. So our total answer is the 2 we've just found and the 0 that we found earlier. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.